everyone. Um, let's do examples five, six, and seven. So example five, uh, we have sales tax in Hayward. is 9.75% and we want to know how much tax on a $220 purchase and what's the total? So first thing I like to do with percents is get them out of percent form. So 9.75% um, there's two ways. If this is still new, um, it's easiest to just put it over 100. Um, I'll just divide really quickly on my calculator, no need to do it by hand, and you'll get 0 0.0975 or 0 0.0975. Um, this zero in the front. There or not, it's the same thing. Um, if you're a little bit more familiar with this, the shortcut is just to move over two to the left. mean by that is I'm going to go ahead and just take this current decimal place go one two if there's any gaps you add a zero so either way we still get zero nine seven five um, and so we're gonna now find tax so tax would be the part and so we'll just do percent times whole from that formula from above the whole would be the whole purchase so that's 220 So we'll take the percent and times by 220. Again, we can just type this on our calculator. Um, most of us aren't going into classes where we're doing things by hand. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply and I get 2145. This is only the tax, not the purchase. Then we will go ahead and just add the tax to the purchase. So the total will be 220 plus 2145, which gives me 241 plus and 45 cents. Again, we're using calculators. Um, any of us going into 53, 43, 47, we're all using calculators. Um, it's more about the critical thinking skills, not like the actual calculation. Um, so let's do six and seven and hopefully the video will help you understand these examples better. Um, so example six, now we're gonna look at Australia. We have 209 million liters of plastic, so I'm just going to kind of abbreviate it since you have it on the canvas. Plastic water bottles um, are recycled out of 582.9 million produced. So that would be the whole because that's all of them. And then what percent? So let's figure out what's going on. Um, in this case, we want to figure out the percent. So that's when I like um, the division formula because the percent is just the part out of the whole. Um, so out of is another hint, right? Sometimes we read division as out of. Um, so the part would be the amount recycled. So we'll take the 209.9 million Right, that's the part recycled. And then the whole would be all of the water bottles. So that would be 582.9 million. Right, all would be the whole. Um, and then the fact that they're both out of millions means we can kind of just ignore the word million. And we just divide those two numbers. So on my calculator, I do 209.9 divided by 582.9, and I think I got 0.36 with a bunch of extra decimal places. Um, let me double check. I think it was a bunch of zeros after, so we can round to 0.36. Yeah, it was just like 0, 0, 9, 6, so on, right? So we'll say that's about 0.36. Um, this is decimal form, so you can either uh, multiply by 100 to convert to a percent. So we get 36% again on my calculator. And then the shortcut is to move the decimal and now we move the opposite way. So we'll go one, two. So 
it's the opposite direction when you go from decimal to percent. You move two to the right. So converting between percent and decimal is always two. It's just left or right. It goes back and forth. Um, Math Jam is kind of just a preview, so we're not mastering topics. We're just kind of checking out some topics that we might need review on or we might see in our next class um, and just get better critical thinking skills. So if we're not masters at the topic, that's okay right now. But maybe we can try a couple examples using these examples. Um, so let's try one more. Example seven, which was a TV for $7.99 is on sale for 30% off. And now we want to find the price after, um, after including the discount. Um, so I noticed the percents given, so I'm probably going to use the part equals percent of whole multiplied by whole. Uh, but before we can use this formula, we need 30% in decimal form. Right, so up to you. Um, you could do 30 over 100, and you'll get 0 0.3 on your calculator. The other option is we start with the decimal place and we go to the left. So when we start with the percent, we move to the left. The opposite of what we just did. And we'll get 0.30, which is the same. These are the same number. The zero at the end doesn't make a difference. So whether you keep it or not, it works. So let's go ahead and calculate this. So we'll do, um, the discount would be the part, because that's part of the purchase. Um, it'll be 0.3 or 0.30, I kind of like 30 because it reminds me it's out of 100, times the purchase price of $7.99. Um, we'll, again, use our calculator. We don't need to master multiplying by hand, right? None of us are going to do that in real life. Um, so I got 239 and 70 cents. Your calculator probably said 239.7, but money has two decimal places, so I kind of like adding the zero. So this is how much off. So we'll just go ahead and subtract that, right? Because discounts are subtractions. We take the total purchase price of $7.99, take away the $239.70, and I think I got $5.59.30. Cool. Um, so after this, there's some practice, but maybe if you still have questions, let me know before you attempt the practice. Um, yeah, so hope this helps.